Today I will be demonstrating measurements on a Wi-Fi 6 signal using the Booten RTP5000 series of real-time peak USB power sensors and the Tabor Proteus P9084B 9 giga sample per second 4 channel arbitrary waveform generator and an A10200 20 gigahertz 1 watt RF power amplifier. The test setup shown here, Wi-Fi signals with 160 megahertz are being generated and transmitted by the Tabor Proteus arbitrary waveform generator to the Booten RTP5000 series peak USB power sensors. One of the signals is being amplified with the Tabor 20 gigahertz amplifier. The measurement results are displayed either through the Booten power analyzer software or on the Booten PMX40 RF power meter. The signal being measured was generated in MATLAB using the Wireless LAN Waveform Generator app. Waveswarms are easily imported into the Proteus RF Arbitrary Waveform Generator Then they are added to the waveform gallery in the composer. Next, the waveform is added to the segment table in the scenario builder and transmitted by simply turning on the output power. Utilizing its built-in IQ modulator, it is capable of creating high fidelity signals including Wi-Fi 6 signals in the new 6 GHz band up to 7.125 GHz. The P9084B I'm using has four channels with phase-aligned outputs that can provide up to four independent signals for MIMO applications. The Wi-Fi 6 signal can then be measured with the Booten PMX40 and the Booten RTP5000 series peak power sensors. The Booten RTP5000 sensors are the only sensors on the market with sufficient video bandwidth, more than 160 MHz, to accurately measure 80 and 160 MHz Wi-Fi channels. The wide video bandwidth enables users to accurately measure the entire waveform, including the preamble, training sequence, and payload. This also enables accurate measurements of peak to average power and the associated CCDF plot. The PMX40 offers the added flexibility that its sensors can be disconnected and operated independently. With the complementary boot and power analyzer software, users can take advantage of the sophisticated control and in-depth analysis. For example, looking at the CCDF plot comparing Tabor's Wi-Fi signal with and without amplification, it can be seen their amplifiers acting very linearly for nearly 99.9% .9 of the time. Both the Tabor and Boon instruments have multi-channel solutions, making them excellent tools for MIMO Wi-Fi applications.